Hi everybody, how are you? Lacey here with Auburn Anytime Fitness and I'm here to bring you the Rona Workout Challenge Day 9, 9 days already. Um, today is April 1st. The workout we will be doing today is going to be similar to what we did on Monday. It's going to be three supersets. Um, so we're going to have six workout, there's six exercises in total. Um, so the superset means is we're going to do two exercises that we're going to alternate between um, for three whole rounds. And it's going to be 40 seconds of work and 10 seconds of not even rest, but transition time. Just enough time to get into that next exercise. Um, so then after we do one whole set, um, before we move on to the second set, we're going to have 45 seconds of rest in between. So don't worry about the timer. I will keep you on track, so no worries there for you. Um, we're going to do a landscape mode today. Let me make sure that I can actually get you guys to see everything. Make sure I got it all set up right. We'll see. We'll find out. Okay. So um, in total, we're this is going to be about 21, 22 minutes maybe. Um, and we are going to have a little fun finisher at the end, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you the workout, we're going to demo the workout, and then we'll go right into our warm-ups and then our workout. Okay, so the first um, superset we will be doing is knee tucks and pendulum squats. So again, this depends on your mobility. Um, so number one for knee tucks, we are going to, depending on where you're working out, you're going to need either your rags for your hardwood floor, or you're going to need paper plates for your carpet. Just your toes right here. You're going to get down into the push-up position. I'm going to go sideways so you guys can see, um, so you guys can get an example of how to do this. So I'm going to get up in the push-up position, making sure my shoulders and my wrists are aligned with one another. And actually, let me go ahead and just start my, my heart rate monitor now. So that way, there we go. Okay. Um, so anyways, we're going to get down in the push-up position, shoulders and wrists aligned with one another, and adjust my, my knees, I'm going to bring my knees up to my chest like so, together on the ground, okay? So, push-up position, flat back, neutral spine, right, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the shoulder blades, nice strong core, adjust my knees, I'm driving it up, and back, and up, and back. So what you guys want to focus on is not letting your hips when you're doing this exercise, you're not going up here with your booty and then not going down here, right? Nice flat back the entire time. You're gonna hold that position. So like I said, 40 seconds of work there. Um, if this can be too much, I want you to go ahead and just take your time. Maybe it's easier for you to do one at a time, a little more stability for you, that's fine as well. Um, if getting on the ground is too much, you can even do it from a chair. Right here, right here. And you can either do it together, a little, a little more difficult, or just single leg, drive it up and back. Try and get a smaller chair so you get more of an engagement, not something super high where it's awkward in your back. It's hard to get that neutral alignment. All right, so that's the first exercise. The second one is going to be pendulum squats. So we're going to get, stance-wise for this is going to be a little more narrow than hip distance part. Hip distance part is where, right, your hips and your legs are virtually aligned and straight down, vertical lines. So a little less is we're going to go a little in, so a little less than hip distance. Okay, we're going to squat. Remember when we squat, we push our hips back and down so that we are not putting the pressure on our knees. So back and down here, and then up at the side. And then the other side, again, swing. Okay, you're going to just lift the leg out to the side. Here, 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 okay? Um, if this can be too much, hold on to the wall. And again, it's about your mobility. You might, some of you might not be able to get your leg up as high, that's totally fine. Just, and you know, little baby squat is fine, little lift. You're doing the motion, that's what counts, okay? That's what matters. So that's gonna be our first superset. And we're gonna do that 40 seconds each. And then 45 seconds rest. Oops, sorry, I cut my head off there. <laughs> All right, the second superset we will be doing is the same super, or it's the same exercise, we're just gonna be doing a right and a left. So, number three is gonna be a bottom loaded windmill. This is all in the oblique. So, 
So I'm gonna want you to go ahead and get weight. Um, I actually just pulled out my my uh, my dumbbells here that I have at home. Nothing too crazy. Nothing super heavy. Um, you don't need very much weight at all for this. You don't even have to use any weight for that matter. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put one foot out to the side. I'm, and it's gonna be the same side that has my weight or not, but it's gonna be the side that we're gonna be working, right? So I'm gonna go down here, okay? Put my hand up, slight bend in both knees, right? Because I don't wanna hyperextend, so slight bend here. Put the weight on the inner thigh, right here. Glide it down, push the booty back a little bit. Looking up at your hand the whole time, up at the top. And keep that gaze here. Slight bend here, okay? Really working the core and the obliques. You're gonna feel it on, really on both sides, technically. So I don't care what side you start with, just remembering to keep going on that same side. So 40 seconds there, then we're gonna switch sides. So pivot, right? Switch hands, slight bend, arm up. Reach the weight down as far as you can, looking here. So again, your mobility, you do not have to use weight, right? You just reach, and you don't even have to go as far as I did. Just a little right here, a little one, okay? Up and back, up and back, okay? All right, that's the second superset. The third and final superset is gonna be <laughs> a fun one. Okay, so number five is gonna be surrenders with a press. So this is where you're going to need light to medium weight. Again, this is up to you. You don't have to use any weight, right? Um, if you have shoulder issues, I definitely, depending on what you wanna do, I would not use any weight. Um, so go off what you know your body, right? I'm, I'm not there with you, I don't know your body. So for the surrenders, I'm gonna wrap my weight here, okay? And I'm starting on my knees, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my leg through, pull my other leg directly through, have, see I have like a mini squat, and then I'm gonna push up at the top. Bring it back down, back down to my knees. Strong core, these get tiring after a while. So make sure that you also alternate starting with the opposite leg, right? The, you know, if the first one you started on this leg to stand up, make sure you do it on the other side the next time, okay? And you'll notice when I'm doing these, my leg, I'm not going out and around, right? I'm not doing one of these, whoa, losing my balance. I'm pulling it straight through, right? My knee is driving straight through, straight through, holding that little bit of a squat, thrusting at the top, back down. Back down, slow and controlled, okay? So that's number five, surrenders with the press. Number six, jump squats. Okay, so for the jump squats, I like to make mine very explosive. However, we're gonna be doing these for 40 seconds at a time, so you're probably gonna get pretty fatigued, right? Um, so what I want you to do, actually, yeah, I'll check in a second. What I want you to do, right, is getting up, Push up and then explode at the top, okay? I like to really explode. However, I'm probably gonna get fatigued myself, so I'm just kind of probably doing this. Right, and that's okay too. It's less explosive, maybe not quite as, as hard on your body. So depending on your mobility, do what works for you. Otherwise, I want you here and exploding at the top. Right, true jump squat fashion. Uh, again, if either of these are still too much, I just want you to go here, air squat, or I'm sorry, here, out for squat, and back in, right? Out, back in, body weight, air squat, nothing crazy there, okay? After all that, we are going to have a little finisher. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, though. It's a surprise, so stay tuned. All right, let me check. This takes my comments. I'm actually wearing makeup today, guys. Hey, that's a, that's fun. So that's the only thing with doing this landscape version. I can't see your comments, so sorry. I'll look at them after. <laughs> so hopefully everyone's good. Um, so go ahead and get what you need. Again, you might need a chair. You might need a lightweight for the bottom loaded windmill. You might need a weight for your presses. Again, depending upon your shoulder, okay? Um, a mat, of course, unless you're doing it in carpet. Water, that's always good to have. Speaking of, I left mine in the house. Oh man. Oh well. 
I'm gonna have to survive. Okay, let's get into our warm up, and from there we'll go into our workout. my video on Monday. I have my son. Now I have one of my daughters. Come here, girl. Just wave hi. She hurt her arm. She's totally fine. She just hurt her arm a little banged up and bruised. So we're going to be modifying for her, obviously. Okay? That work? Okay. All right. So we're going to do our warm-ups. Same warm-ups we've been doing. The first one is overhead body weight squat. Putting your arms up nice and high. Feet hip distance apart, right? Push it back and down for 10. Here we go. Squeeze at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good. All right. Second one is going to do a hip step over. Strong core. Right shoulders back and down. Taking that toe. Going out and in. Really getting that hip to, to move. Okay. We're going to do 10 here. And then 10 on the other side. All right. Let's go. And you can hold on to something if need be. Can you go get my water? I left it in the house. My blue water bottle. We can share it. Thank you. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, other side. One, two, three, five. Gets that core nice and stabilized, which helps all your stabilizer muscles, so you're able to not lose your balance as easily. Okay? 10 to 15 seconds. Pull, pull, get that nice pull right here in that quad. Okay, here we go. Pulling your belly really tight. Sis. I'm not good. That's okay. There you go. You can hold on to something if need be. All right, switch. You don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. I can do this. Yeah, you can. Careful. I don't need to hurt your other arm. <laughs> All right. Supine wall slide. So if getting on the ground can be a little too much for you, you're gonna do this exercise against the wall. Okay, you're gonna do, this is a good chest opener. Okay, getting all the muscles in that back to kind of start moving as well, right? Especially for those of us that are working at home, right? We're usually all hunched over like this at our computer. We wanna get that chest, the shoulders back and open to get that real pull across the chest, okay? So, T-post, like this, against the wall behind me. Okay, I'm gonna slide my arms up and back. Okay, driving them all the way down, like so. We do that 10 times, otherwise go ahead and get on the ground. We're gonna do it 10 times from the ground. All right, and begin.
Lift up your leg, strong core again, nice and tight. Left, right, 10 times, go. Some extra. I feel like nap. I need another coffee. Five seconds, guys. Go. Last one. Done. All right. You get a rest. You get a rest. Forty-five seconds here. Get your water. Catch your breath. Man, it's a bummer I can't see my text. I'd have to rotate my phone. Hi out there, whoever you are. Get ready. Athletic stance. Right? Go. 
raise, raise. Keep going. Try and be light on those toes. So you're really using that core to drive yourself up. 10 seconds, guys. to be for us, so that way they can listen to their own music. I'm sure it's some copyright thing too, so. Keep going. Make it count. Feel the move. Those adductors, right? I'm sorry, abductors. Said it wrong. Done! Break! All right. After this, we have 35 more seconds. We're gonna do our windmills, right? Each side, here, okay? Then on the second time, switching, here. Again, you don't need weight. But I'm gonna have weight. See if I regret it. You only need one. Take a breath. All right, five seconds, guys. Get ready. Bend those knees. Get in position. Arm up. Go. Looking up at the arm. Squeeze all the way to the top. Push, push, push. Squeeze. You don't need weight. Just with one arm, you can do it with your other arm. Reach. And up. There you go. Keep going. Almost done. One more. There we go. Done. Get warm in here. Okay, other side, load those legs, arms up, go! Motion. Mommy, yes, 
Ten seconds, guys. Almost done. One more. Done. Forty-five second break. Yeah, she usually is in here when I do my workouts. No. Catch your breath. Warm, that's for sure. It's cold. It's cold when you're working out. You're warm. I have workout shorts, but yeah. All right, 10 seconds, guys. Pick up that weight. I started on my right. I'm going to go back to my right side. Yep. Legs ready. You don't need weight. Go. Go. Arm up. Second round. Where are you feeling it at?
on your knees, pull through, pull through, thrust, depending upon your shoulders, then jump squats. Again, depending upon your mobility for that. This is gonna make you poot. I'm already feeling it, I'm already ready for it. Woo! All right, here we go. Surrenders, oh my gosh, I almost forgot my weight. If you're using any, start on your knees. Nice and tall, strong core. Let's turn this way, begin. Nice and controlled. Thrust. Less than 10. Make it count. Nice and controlled. You show your alternating legs. It's hard even nice again. Less than ten, guys. Last one. comment come through. Oh, hi, Patty. Well, hopefully you're feeling much better today then. Thanks for tuning in, girly. All right. Last awesome. round, guys. Get ready. Get Surrenders. Get down. Go. There you go. Last time we're doing these.
Keep going. Straight through, straight through. Keep going, less than five. Last one. Done. Break. Not break. Jump squats. Last one. Go. Breathe. My jumps have gotten smaller. My injury, my energy reserves are down. Keep powering through. We're gonna do a finisher. Catch your breath, I'm gonna tell you one second, so get ready. In, release. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. All right, finisher. Two minute wall sits. You ready for this? Oh no. Yes, we got this. So. We're sitting, we're gonna be sitting against the wall like we're sitting in a chair, right? I want you to make sure those knees aren't close together. Drive those legs apart. That way you'll put in more in your glutes and your hamstrings. You won't feel it as much in your knees. You don't have to go as deep as I am. I'm gonna attempt to stay at 90 degrees. Attempt, two minutes. Um, so you don't have to go down as far, right? Okay, so get ready, high back. Warm up. All right, let me get, I'm gonna get the clock on, set the timer, get against the wall, y'all. Or a fridge. Yeah, we're using a fridge. Okay, here we go. Begin! 90 degrees, push those legs apart, those knees, push into that back, push into the heels. You're gonna feel it all right here. Like this? Oh. Keeps you interested. All day. All day. All right. Calm the breathing down. Go somewhere else. I'm dripping now. You guys know that you're sweating? Push my feet out a little bit. 90 degrees. You don't have to go 90. All right, almost up to the one minute mark. You got it. Hold it. I see you. Not really, but I see you. All right, less than a minute. Oh my gosh. Whew. Back down. Mm-hmm. 
right, guys. Oh, let me take that off. Great job. Hey, is my Wi Fi better? To me, it looks better on my end, but I'll have to replay and see. I'm sweaty. See all my glistening sweat? Oh, my legs don't work anymore. Okay, great job, you guys. If you tuned in live, thank you for tuning in live. Um, otherwise, please re watch and get your workout in for the day, right? Less than 25 minutes, you guys. That's nothing, right? We spend that much time just eating food and easily watching TV, okay? You got this? 25 minutes, that's it. What else are you doing today? Unless you're an essential worker, right? Even if you are an essential worker, though, stay healthy, okay? All right, so after we're done, don't forget to stretch. If you have a foam roll, I highly encourage you to foam roll, okay? Go relax the rest of your day. Great job. And uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Matt will be on tomorrow. Adios, guys.